Hey guys, Neck is back and welcome to another review. Today we're taking a look at One Finger Death Punch. And before you close this because you think this is a joke or trolling, hear me out please. So One Finger Death Punch was made by Silver Dollar Games, a Canadian indie developer, and it's incredible because all their other games are so weird but have some fun elements. Like the game I Wanted or Headshot God where you fry people for some reason. But then they made One Finger Death Punch. And it's funny because they also realized this and a pro tip in the game says people told us to stop making games. We didn't. Now we have One Finger Death Punch. And they are absolutely right. Basically the whole game works with two buttons. The left and right mouse button or you can use a controller like me and use triggers or other buttons. With these buttons you can attack left or right depending on if an enemy is in range or not. Now this all seems fairly simple, but there are different types of enemies and missions. So you have the normal one punch enemy, but you also have multiple hit enemies and brawlers, and they won't go down as easy. Then you also have weapons that add excitement to the visuals, but have no use really. And have you have a page full of skills from screen wipe to double weapon times. Then you also have survival rounds, lightsaber rounds, nunchuck rounds and other fun va variations, which makes it so that you never feel bored and never play the same level, because there's a ton of them. The point of the whole game is getting at the end of the round while still being alive and try not to miss. If you miss more than 10 times, you get nothing, but under 9 is a bronze medal, under 6 is a silver medal, and under 3 is a gold medal, and under and 0 misses is a platinum medal. You can also get a supplementary perfect if you didn't take any damage. The thing that makes this challenging and never boring is that the further you get, the more enemies and the faster they will go. And I'm at the point in the game now where it's really challenging. There is also a function that adjusts the difficulty while playing, meaning every time you die, lose a round or underperform, the speed will be decreased for the next level or retry. But if you do good, the speed will be increased for the next level, so even if you're a pro, the first levels are always replayable and so are all other missions without having to worry about it being too easy and not fun. Oh, and yes, this is one of those games where I like to say, easy to pick up, difficult to master. So to summarize, the good. Adrenaline rushed kung fu spectacle in all its glory. Great music for the style of the game, great voice samples, a simple concept yet a challenging game with some degree of replayability and a ton of levels. And last but not least, the highest price for this game is 5 bucks on Steam, and I'm pretty sure every PC could play this game without problems, so there's no reason not to get it. And of course, the bad. The levels are all over the place and it makes the map pretty chaotic, but that doesn't really affect gameplay. And honestly, I don't really have anything negative to say about this game because the concept together with its execution and price is just perfect if you ask me. I already spent 4 hours or more on it, so it's certainly worth 5 bucks in my eyes, although that is very subjective. I would advise this game to everyone and anyone wanting to have a good time and especially to people who turn these games into hardcore challenges and have extremely good reflex times. I wouldn't advise it to anyone looking for great AAA graphics, obviously, and I wouldn't advise it if you don't like hyperactive games, because this game literally has no downtime when playing. This game came out for PC and Xbox 360, but I'm pretty sure there's a version for Android out there. Not sure though. Their site doesn't even have CSS or anything, so it's plain HTML, which doesn't really give me any info. Anyway, like all reviews, let me know if you guys want to see more of this game, although I highly doubt it. Thank you all for watching. Again, I hope you found a new game to play or that it was useful in some way or another. Feel free to drop a like if you did or subscribe for more. And as always guys, I'll see you next time.